Good. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. And uh, now what we're going to do the rest of the day is give them some time to uh, tend to their studies. And, and uh, we're not going to have meetings this afternoon. Uh, we're going to extend our meetings a little bit in the morning. Just give them a, a little break here and make sure they can lock in on school a little bit before we go up to Cal. So we'll have a final walk through in the morning and then uh, we get on the buses at 1230 and head, head north. So it should be fun. How do you think the first week of classes kind of uh, sat with them for a full week? You know what, I, th I think they like this schedule. We get them up early, and, and they're early birds anyway, because year round they, they work out early. And uh, they're very focused at practice. I think that hurt, that helps us. And then we get them at the end of the day as well in meetings, and maybe come out here and just walk through a couple things, and it's been good. You know, I haven't noticed any, any lapses in their focus or anything like that. And uh, so I think it's been good. I'm glad we did it last week to just give them a feel for how it was going to work out. It's just uh, been a bit of a learning curve back in college and the idea of rivals and for me, who, yeah, for, yeah. For who was important. And... Well, there's a lot I don't know. Obviously, I mean, there's many, many, many things that I'm just trying to learn. And one of them is, you know, the importance of or the significance, I should say, of, of certain games to the alumni and to the universities and to the public. And this is one of those games I've come to find out. Anyway. What, what, what clued you in that this was one of those games? Ah, uh, some of the players, you know, just their, just the kind of the, the, the level of intensity they had, people just talking to people around campus, you know, uh, just, there's a lot of things I'm not familiar with down here and it's fun to learn about them. What have you learned about this record? I've learned that it's uh, a little bit more significant than people would you know, think that, that it does, you know, we get a lot of emphasis on our uh, our game versus Southern Cal, but this game versus Cal is is, I guess, pretty significant as well. So we try as a team not to put any extra emphasis on any one game, just because we're trying to develop a level of consistency. But there's certain things that you just can't control. You know, yeah, it's certain that, vibes that just that happen. That's impossible with the it, way college football is. Yeah, and it, and that's one of the great things about college football. It's the, one of the, the things I love about college football. Is it's like the passion of the fans, you know, towards their university and maybe against another university. So it, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. So have you developed a hatred for Cal now? No, I don't hate anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me Brett Hundley? Uh, no one was only telling me this week that he finally thought that against Colorado he was able to kind of dictate the kind of tempo he wanted to establish an office. Can you talk a little about that? I agree with Noel. We were, um, we were smoother in our operation and our tempo was more like we wanted to be. And I think it was partially Brett, but I think it was also um, just, you know, after having, well, that was our fifth game, into our fifth game. and getting used to what we're trying to do. You know, you want it to start and happen right from the get-go, you know, and you want to be at full throttle right from the get-go, but that's probably not realistic. You know, it's a new program, a new system, new coaches, new terminology, and so it just takes you a little while to ramp up, and I think we're starting to hit our groove a little bit there. Is there, like, a goal you guys have in mind for, like, time between plays? It, it, well, it depends on the situation, and sometimes, if we're, you know, if we're substituting, um, then the defense has an opportunity to substitute as well, and you'll see that the... Uh, the umpire will stand over the ball and wait for them to make their subs. So that sometimes can slow things down. But if we're not substituting, I mean, we want to go as fast as we can go. You know, um, if you can catch a defense off balance a little bit, if they haven't had a chance to read maybe some of the tactical clues, some of the, the tendencies that you might have developed through the years before the ball snapped, that that helps you. But in terms of a specific time, it varies. You know, it varies by time in the game, by score of the game, things like that. Any change in Zimbabwe's status? Or? Yeah, he, he practiced. He did everything. He had his helmet on. He felt good, and he's, he's ready to play on Saturday night. Um, Starting? No. no. Um, we're going to start Damien out there, and, um, you know, we'll get Jordan some time. And then uh, going forward, we'll just, you know, we'll figure out the best way to play those guys, you know, to help us win football games and play good defense. You're talking about Stan McKay. He's played some pretty important downs for you guys defensively. Yeah. And Two interceptions the last two games. And just what does he bring? To uh, great intensity. He loves to play the game. You know, he's, we have that that role for him in our in our base package where we put him in as a weak inside linebacker, either here or Dalton. And uh, Stan's really embraced it. You know, he's taken it to heart. He calls himself a little backer. You know, <laughs> a mini backer or something. I I think it's mini backer. And uh, you know, Stan's just a guy that just loves to play football. You know, and he, uh, he's passionate about it and it rubs off on his teammates. 
he's obviously the last couple weeks had a knack of being around the ball. Okay, all right. Thank